Hi, I'm Nate Jansen from the CNB Operations Integrated Solutions Support Center, and today we're going to talk about changing your background and foreground maps on both your GS2 2600 and GS3 2630 displays. For starters, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and open up our menu button. From here, we're going to select our Green Star icon. If you're using a Green Star 2 2600 or 1800 display, the icon will look like it's shown on the screen. If you're using a GS3 2630 or Command Center display, the icon will look similar except display a GS3. So go ahead and select the Green Star icon. At this point, we're going to go to Soft Key A, also labeled as Mapping. Now in order to change our background and foreground maps, we're going to go to the bottom of our screen to where it says Map Settings. On the Map Settings page, here you'll be able to select different background and foreground maps depending on what you've loaded to your display or what operation you're doing. So background maps, just like it explains, are maps that are going to appear beneath your coverage map. So if I select this drop-down, here you're going to see I've got an aerial image and a prescription for corn loaded as a background map. If I select my aerial image, it'll be displayed in the drop-down box. Then I can go down and select the Accept button. After I've selected Accept, here you'll notice that the aerial image now displays as part of my map. This allows me to see where I'm at in the field according to the aerial image that I've loaded from Apex. If I go back to the Map Settings button, I'm also able to choose different foreground maps. For instance, I can display a coverage map, and you'll notice that now there is a blue bar being painted over top of my aerial image. In a similar way, back in Map Settings again, I can change my foreground map so that it applies to the operation that I'm trying to complete. In this case, if I'm harvesting corn, I'll press Accept again. Here it's going to display different yields, or if I select different moistures, and again it'll be painting them on top of whatever I've selected as my background map. A quick reminder that all background maps are created inside of Apex. We can take and create variety maps based on what we've planted, or download aerial images along with lots of other options and place them in our displays as background maps. Foreground maps will appear as operations that we're completing or allow us to see flags that we've marked throughout the field. And now we've selected our background and foreground maps in both a GS2 2600 and GS3 2630 displays. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing CNB Operations. Committed to being your dealer of choice.